today. From Seattle, Washington. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They go play action here on first down. That is caught. Josh Reynolds. Put it right down the Touchdown, Titans. Josh Reynolds. His second touchdown on the season. And the Titans have taken a first quarter lead. They scored the most points of anyone on opening week. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And last time the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up. Whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drives it. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. One play and it's a Titans touchdown. Derrick Henry, 97 yards. And the Titans get the quick strike touchdown. Just an unbelievable start, less than a minute in. They're already up to So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. That's throw right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A big play that time through the air. 37 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Looking to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Henry. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Second and two. the game as the AFC Player of the Week award winner. You expect runs like that and then some. <laughs> it was fun to watch him in the opener last week in week one. He was spectacular. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Josh Reynolds, his second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And the ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. <laughs> Not sure it can be much better than that. They've got to feel very good about the groove that they're in at this stage of the game. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. Touchdown. Josh Reynolds on his way. All right, the offense back on the field here. Let's see what they can do on this play. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Complete. It's Henry. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A nice throw right there. And, Charles, this is game number two in the NFL for this young rookie. His guy's getting the victory last week. And he played pretty well by most accounts. Curious, what did you see? I saw something similar to what you described, Brandon, because I saw a guy who looked the part, a guy who was in command. Not just with the touchdown passes, but definitely looked to be in control. And yeah, this is taken in at the five. Touchdown, Titans. A.J. Brown, his second touchdown on the season. And the Titans continue to pull away here this first half. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They've really distanced themselves. They have put the pedal to the metal, I guess, so to speak. So definitely have them in the rearview mirror, don't they? I mean, you're exactly right. Being able to string together these drives that end up in points 
It's almost like a run in basketball to create that distance, and they're on a really big time one right now. It becomes contagious, doesn't it? It absolutely does, because oftentimes it translates to your defense as well, because they're excited about getting the ball back for their offense that's playing so well. Well, they are clicking right now. Flushed out right. Dancing away at the 35. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Buying time to his left. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Normally we're talking about a quarterback duel where they're matching each other pass for pass. How about the footwork in this with both of these guys running the ball well? Yeah, they mixed in the run game. You're exactly right. Now, both coaches might not like how much their quarterbacks have taken off. And it's a Titans touchdown! Josh Reynolds on his way to a historic performance. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And with a huge lead already, they may be thinking, hey, our job's complete for these first two quarters. Let's get this to the locker room. They'll come out throwing here on first down. He's going to look downfield for Henry. It's caught inside the 25. A big play there just before halftime. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Trying to punch it in with Henry. And he will score. Touchdown. After a good punt, this offense will start with tough field position inside the 10. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. And Derrick Henry with the ball in his hands, what a sight to behold because power and speed involved in every touch for him. Coming off another spectacular season with the Titans, it became the first since LaDainian Tomlinson in 2006 and 2007 to win two straight rushing titles. And he did it with style, too. Just the eighth man to top 2,000 yards and the first since Adrian Peterson in 2012. He has his Derrick Henry all alone. Touchdown, Titans. Derrick Henry, 72 yards. And this... The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Still comfortably on top, third quarter, as they start things here with a first and ten. Oh, that's sweet. What an effort. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Bobby Wagner, the all-pro, in on the tackle. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Flush to his right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair. Because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> Almost impossible. Yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run, too. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. As a rookie quarterback, that's exactly how you endear yourself to your teammates. Give it up for the cause. It's also how you end up on the training table, too. Yeah, it's a catch-22. Coach doesn't like it. Teammates love it. Where do you fall? And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. A great play there, 27 yards. And the Titans are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter.
So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. And he'll decide to keep this once more. That'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. Now that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football. It's not a huge gain, but it shows how hard it can be to stop him. Yeah, I thought that... Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. Josh Reynolds there to make the grab. And the Titans are on their way to a two... The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When, when do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, we, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they will take them out. But for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. 144 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to look deep for more. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Broken tackle. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. And is that Jones, the one slow to get up? Yes, Julio still down right now. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Historically, this is such a tough, loud venue, but you can hear a pin drop right now. A lot of fans long gone, not used to seeing a lopsided score like this. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you've got to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And he'll get this underneath to Henry. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the trainers take a look, We'll step aside. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Again to Henry. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Again, it's Henry. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called.